Hi guys, welcome to my super duper quick guide on achievement diaries for level 3s. Now the diaries that level 3s can do are the Ardoin, Falador, Varrock and Lumbridge easy diaries. Uh, we may be able to do more, but not that I'm aware of, so let's just go through them quickly. Ardoin is pretty much straightforward, there's not really any combat involved apart from the combat required in the biohazard quest for the end of the combat training camp north of West Ardoin task. Other things, um, this one sells silk to silk trade in Ardoin for 60 coins each. Make sure you buy the silk on the GE rather than rob it from the stall in Ardoin. Otherwise you won't be able to sell it back until like an hour or so later, I'm not, I'm not really sure. Fishing trawler requires no requirements, simply Google that. You can get a rusted sword from the ham hideout between Lumbridge and Drainer. Um, right click the guy and click check. Many people have had this problem just by talking to him and finding out that it doesn't work. You have to actually right click them and click check for it to work. So that's our doing done. Um, next one, let's do Rarok. Now Rarok again has got no combat and this one should be very, very straightforward. Uh, give a dog a bone. Uh, you have to use bones on a stray dog that you find somewhere in Rarok. I found mine, well not mine, I found one of the dogs by the tea stall, which is east of the east bank. You don't get any prayer XP or anything like that, so no worries. Um, what else we got? Yes, 50 kudos. This composer is quite a problem. The easy way to do this, if you don't have 50 kudos already, is complete the dig site quest. Then talk to the guy in the Varrock Museum. If you don't know what it is, Google it. And you can clean some finds. There should be guides all over Google on how to get more kudos. After you've done the dig site, you can gain up to 75 kudos just by cleaning finds. So that's really, really simple. Moving on to Falador. Now, um, this one has a little bit of combat, but let's just go through them. Um, for a family crest, you will need, I believe, 17 construction to build um, a little crest thing on a house. Again, Google has a lot of answers. Um, you need to get a family crest by talking to Serenity first, and then I'm guessing you have to talk, again, talk to him again to find out what it actually is, but I don't know. Um, should be straightforward. Kill a duck in Faldor Park. Now the bad thing about this is that uh, ducks don't actually hit you. Yeah, they, they suck. Um, I tried to recall one for about 10 minutes. Um, I drank a, uh, a Dwarven Stout to load my defence and it wasn't working. They literally hit zeros all the damn time. So you're going to have to actually kill this. So G, they've got 3 HP. GG, you got 12 XP. Doesn't matter how you do this, you can melee them because they'll, they'll be within range. Um, or you can range them wherever you want, um, but you're getting that 12 XP if you want to do this. Rest should be quite easy. Um, claim a security put some from the security guard at Port Sarum Jail. Find out where the jail is. It's not the guy on the ground floor, but you have to go up the ladder onto the first floor, um, or American if you're the second floor, I believe. And there should be a few guards in there. One of them looks like the random event guard that you get. You have to talk to him to actually claim one. Um, blue right limbs. If you don't remember, you can get you can mine blurite while doing the what's it called the knight sword quest, and you smith that uh, you smelt that, then smith it to limbs on Doric's anvil. So that's found or done. Now this is where it gets tricky. Lumbridge and Drainer, you're expected to get quite a bit of combat experience. It took a while to work out what's going on. Now the cave bug beneath beneath Lumbridge swamp, this posed quite a problem because they heal too quickly for you to recoil them. And we weren't actually sure how to get this done, so I figured the best method is just to suck it up and actually cannon them. Um, they've got 5 health, so if you cannon it, that's 10 XP in range, which sucks. But if you want this achievement done and the lamp that you get from completing the, all the tasks, then it's well worth it. Uh, one tip you can do is get a combat friend two or two to help clean out like the whole room. Kill every single one, and as soon as one respawns, kill that one with a cannon and hopefully the cannon won't attack several at once because I've had that happen while I was there. Luckily it hit a zero on the first first one and killed the one in one shot so I got lucky. Basically you're going to get 10 XP no matter how you do this. Um, rest should be straightforward. Kill a, kill a zombie in drain sewers. They've updated it I believe so you can now kill any zombie. It used to be a bug where you'd only kill the level 13 ones or something. But basically you can go into drain the sewers, google it if you don't know what that is. And to do this, you have to do the last bit of damage yourself. Not the first, not anywhere in between, it has to be the last. That means that you need to recoil a zombie down to 1 HP and then manually kill it yourself. As in, you have to actually attack it with 
a weapon of some sorts. Um, if you don't have Eris Buddy, I don't. Don't worry. It's it's not too hard to gauge when he's on one HP left. Um, I would recommend having an Iron Dagger minus P plus plus just in case poison helps. I don't know, but an Iron Dagger or whatever's really strong, and a Super Attack Potion to get that massive attack boost because you really want to hit it first time without it recovering any health. Um, yeah, rest should be straightforward. That's it. The um, the other ones that we believe to be possible is the Candorin Diary. The only difficult thing is defeat one of each elemental in the workshop, which we haven't tested yet, so I don't know how it works. And if you look at my stats, I mean, I don't really have a lot of leeway to make mistakes, so I'm leaving that till later. Um, we also believe that the Desert one may be possible. The difficult bit is open the sarcophagus. Now, as you may know, that gives strength XP. I'm not sure how much. Someone told me it gives 26 strength XP, and that's cutting it pretty fine. Um, so that one still may be possible, but I'm not sure yet. Ones that are definitely impossible is the Fremnic ones, because you have to um, where is it? change your boots. That, that requires Fremnic Trials, which is a lot, a lot of combat. I'm not sure if 10 HP people can do this. Um, Mauritania, definitely not, because that's in Canifis. Wilderness, also definitely not, cast low alchemy. Um, once you complete the Lumbridge Diary, you get a ring that allows you to cast low alk a certain amount of times per day. But it has been confirmed that this does not work for the Wildy Diary. I don't know whether you need the level to cast it or it just doesn't work in this particular case. But yeah, it doesn't work. Even if it did, you've got some pretty nasty stuff. Mammoth, Earth Warrior. It's pretty, pretty grim. And Western Provinces is also impossible. Complete novice game, pest control. You need 40 combat for that. So, yes, that's it. So, in conclusion, Ardoin and Barok are very doable. Neither of them require combat. That you do get 4 XP doing a prerequisite quest, which is biohazard for the Ardoin, Di Ardoin Diary, that's what I'd say. Um, Falador, you will get 12 XP killing a duck. And Lumberjah Drainer, you will get 10 XP canning a cave bug and 4 XP killing a zombie. Candra may be possible, Desert may be possible, all the rest are impossible. I'll pop Karamja, but you know, everyone's done that one. We should have done. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found it helpful. Um, yep, yeah, see ya.